So last night we moored up in a little village called Wootton and Amy found online that there's a little something that Rufus might be interested in. <laughs> We've also invited our friends Rob and Isabel to come back because they've got two dogs so they can run around and play with Rufus too. About an hour of running around like mad, Rufus decided that the rain was not worth chasing the tennis ball over, so we headed inside. Rob and Isabel's puppies joined us as well, so we decided it was time to call it a day. At the time we didn't realise, but just a heads up, the camera was pretty waterlogged, so apologies for the slightly odd audio. So we can't stay in this spot, because when's back at work tomorrow and the internet's not very good here. We're cruising half an hour maybe just to try and find an internet spot. I'm already wet from being out with the dog, so we're just gonna go for it. <laughs> a ninja. <laughs> I'm unable to perform that manoeuvre. And he's off! So silt is where all the sediment like builds up and it goes to the sides of the canal and you can't get your boat in enough because if you look we are leaning to the side because we're on the mud. But look how shallow it is. Given up on that spot, so Wes is walking ahead and he's just gonna poke and see if there's anywhere where we can uh, moor. Are you having a nice day? Our thinking is that the secondary plank here is just to give you a fraction of a second in case this one goes. You got a fraction of a second longer to, to finish your leap. Go on. <laughs> we tested it, it is. They just flex quite a lot. Just do a run. Just do a run. Yeah, see? They just flex quite a lot. I don't trust that board. 
The big stride, big light stride. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> She's out. <laughs> right. Do you remember earlier on we said? Got a parcel. We'll have to wait and see what it is. Well, I think it's time to crack it out and have a little play. <laughs> it's a mini chainsaw. I feel like a tool like this feels like it needs a name. What can we call him? Stephen. No. It's got to be a more forceful name. Well, Stephen's a fairly forceful name. Stephen's a, a polite name. Brutus. Brutus. <laughs> oh, it's got a safety goggle. Safety goggle. I will be mandating their use every time. <gasps> oh my god. Terrifying. It's also really small though, it's like it's perfect for us but it just feels like an early learning centre like chainsaw. My my first chainsaw. He's got his own little bag. He's got a sleeping bag. Well it's a body bag for his enemies. <laughs> and so Brutus was born. It genuinely is baby's first chainsaw because the size of these glasses. I mean, I've got quite a big head. Ooh, ooh dear. Ooh no. <laughs> Safety achieved. <laughs> yeah, that's quite threatening. Ooh. That's six inches, like. I'm really scared about that. It's time to ignite Brutus. Be careful, I'm really nervous. <laughs> Red! No, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Please! Please, be careful. Well, just do it properly, please. Kill the power. I'm Brutus! Brutus is understandably jealous that he isn't getting a go with the power of Brutus. The joy! I've never felt more powerful. <laughs> that was so quick! I think this might be the best purchase we've ever I'm made. I'm so happy. That's seconds, seconds for a clean cut. For comparison, it would genuinely take us about five minutes per log, like to cut like three sticks. And now we've just got, we've already got ten. That's so good. Still got more on the roof to chop, but that'll do for now. By the fire drying. It's not touching, don't worry. It's safe, probably. <sighs> <Ooh. laughs> Just in time as it is raining once again. Closures start tomorrow though, which means that we are properly entering winter again. Winter begins! I know you all like to see dupes more, but this is what he does 90% of the time when we're cruising. He's asleep in his house. We're really happy this morning. It's the first morning in ages on a weekend where we can just finally chill now we're through the closure. So all we're doing is cruising about half an hour to Pusey services, and then we're gonna moor in Pusey, hopefully, if we can get a spot and just toddle around the town. Take it really slow, have a little look. We're just really excited, aren't we? We're just having a shower. When we're on the move and we're heading towards the facilities, that's the best possible time to have a shower. The hot water is being generated by the engine, so there's like essentially unlimited hot water. You don't have to rush quite as much. Pay attention to sound The one that's coming from your mouth Don't mean to turn it upside down I really wanna hear you out 
great name for a boat. I can't know how it is to be where you so calmly sit when I'm further in my own. Done the facilities, now we want some more up. Apparently the best place to more for Pusey is up here. So we're gonna try and reverse it past loads of boats. So the manual bow thrust is back out. To really see something other than just me. How far we've come. Who needs a bath thruster <laughs> when we've got our Amy with a barge pole? Walking into Pusey now. The internet, again, not very good. We're trying to decide whether it's good enough to work from for the week or whether we're gonna have to move on tomorrow. But it would be really nice to stay around here because it's lovely. And we did have a spot lined up that seemed to have pretty good internet before we did the facilities and then by the time we'd reversed there was a wide beam sat in it. And you might be wondering why we struggle so much with moorings. The sill and the mooring conditions are, are limited anyway and then on top of that out of the limited options that we have we then have to find a spot with internet good enough for us to work from so our options for moorings are like tiny. made it to Pusey and it was surprisingly a lot further than we thought. Yeah. We were under the impression that it's basically mooring in Pusey, but it's actually about 15-20 minute walk. A nice walk though. <laughs> First stop, picking up a little parcel that we had delivered here. Run pretty dry on food from being moored in the middle of nowhere for a week. Got through all our reserves. We were hoping to get an ash pocket from here. All these small villages are so lovely, the opening times are just so unhelpful to us. The shop looks really cute, Amy. Is it open? No. <laughs> we joke, but it is quite frustrating because we work during the week. So the weekend's pretty much the only time that we get to explore these places. They're all always closed and I grew up in a small town and it, it was open on the weekends. We've been forced to go to the only shop that seems to be open. Are you actually kidding me? Is that a joke? As always, thank you so much for watching and a massive, massive thank you to the chip donators this week. If you did enjoy, check out our other videos and our socials.